Good morning, folks. Welcome along. It's the day after the day out at York. I feel fine, but last night I was in no position to edit a vlog, so I've had to stop home and do it this morning for your pleasure. It's actually not a great vlog, but you'll see what we kind of got up to. To be honest, we had a good time walking around the trade fair, got some really good ideas for the brew shed kitchen, and then we went and got pissed at Brew York. So it is what it is, you know, hair down for a day. I enjoyed it. So today uh, I'm stuck at home without any transport to get into work and the lead for the dog, Chance's lead, is in the back of the car as far as I'm aware. Yes, so unfortunately the pooch may have to stay here while I walk into work unless I can find a piece of string to tie around his neck and take him down with that. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to walk into work. I've got to get some beer out of tanks, so I'll be casking today, provided I've got enough time. It's quarter to eleven, so I better put the camera down and set off, otherwise we're going to achieve very little today. I get misty just holding your hand. video it looks like I've just taken uh, 40 kilo, uh, 40 bags of malt off of the back of the truck. I haven't. I've been in town for something to eat and had a few sneaky beers at BRS. Oh you just can't keep me off the pop can you? So we're coming back to finally get all this casking done today. We have 12 casts of vacant to come out, 12 casts of uh, vacant to come out of this one and then 12 casks of the New England IPA which I think is a little bit too bitter actually so the plan is uh, we'll put four of them in in keg the rest in cask and then the next time we brew it I'm going to take half of the uh, Whirlpool edition and put that on the side of the dry hop and uh, try and reduce the IB used by at least 50% but it's going to be one of them beers where you either love it or you hate it so I think it's still going to be good enough to go on the bar uh, although I've not tried it after its second charge of dry hops I imagine it's still going to be pretty damn good but yeah we've got the cask washer on and whatnot going in the background so I'm going to just dive straight in and get this beer packaged So uh, we are almost 36 casks into today's uh, long, boring casking process. It's frigging killed me. And I'm sick to death of it, quite frankly. So we've ordered some uh, one inch ID silicon hose. Hopefully that'll speed the process up a little bit. But after we got back from beer heads at about two o'clock and it's now gone six, we're still here casking. It's been uh, it's been boring, there's been nothing to film. I've just been literally stood here watching casks fill up. So, we've got two of the tanks rinsed out. That one and that one. 
they just need to have a cleaning cycle and we'll fill them up next week. I'm not going to be able to do it this week because I am uh, at the accountants tomorrow to pay or to sort out the first VAT payment for the pub. More tax. It doesn't stop. But uh, we're just waiting for this one cask to fill up. We are nearly there. You might be able to see in the little hole. It's getting close. And once that's done, that's it. The light's off and I'm off home for something to eat. So, uh, well, I'm sure tomorrow's vlog will be a little bit more interesting. But I'm making no promises. So you'll have to tune in and find out. I'll see you then. Oh, 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 oh,